Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the Gutway M103. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. And first of all, huge thanks to Rafał from Ego. If you want to rent an electric unicycle in Warsaw or learn how to ride an electric unicycle, all the details and links are listed below. Let's get on to the video. Yeah, it's that small. The Galway M103 is really a pocket rocket. It, it packs a 800 watt nominal power motor. You have two battery options. This one is 325 watt hours and the other one is 525 watt hours. With the smaller battery and quite intensive driving you can go around 20 kilometers, 15 to 20 kilometers. You can see uh, the range test right here. I did a couple of them and each time it was around 17, 18 kilometers. Mind you the cruising speed was pretty high and I also rode 25 or higher speeds at that time. Remember that it's the smaller battery version. With the bigger one, we could probably get up to 40 kilometers. The top speed of this thing, though it is a 10 inch, yes, 10 inch tire, is 37 kilometers per hour. And I rode it, it's, it's insane. The tire is 10 inches but it's really wide, it's 3 inches wide so it feels almost like a miniature 9 bot Z10. Of course this has its benefits and its drawbacks. The benefits are you have lots of grip and the wheel is really twitchy and agile. You can also ride really slowly without having the need to put your foot down and I think it's pretty much the easiest wheel to learn and then develop new tricks like going backwards, forwards, turning and so on. The negative side of this white tire is that it's really twitchy at high speeds. So like the 9BOT Z10, the Galway M103 wanders around. You have to really watch out for cracks and especially on paved roads, there is a probability that the wheel might suddenly go left or right. You have to really keep your feet loose, listen to the wheel a bit and not force it to go this or the other way. You also need to really watch out for smaller bumps on this 10 inch wheel. So it's a small wheel, but it doesn't mean that it's a somehow stripped out version of a wheel because it still has the Gotway light in the front. It's pretty powerful, um, actually very similar to the MSX. You have the regular um, Gotway charging port and this wheel is 84 volt. So probably that's also why it's so zippy and fast. And because of the higher voltage, with the standard 1.5 amp charger, you charge the smaller version in around two and a half hours and the bigger one in around four. Um, here you have also a USB charger for your phone and the on off switch. A thing that lacks here is the lift sensor. So the wheel does not have a lift sensor and the button is up front, so that's not really comfortable. I wish this was here because it's so easy just to carry this wheel around. I wish it was easier to turn it off. Um, it doesn't have a trolley handle, which is another uh, bummer, but you can buy it on AliExpress for like 50 bucks. So definitely get this if you want to ride this wheel. It also has RGB lighting strips around the wheel, so you're also visible at night. And the solution here is really nice. You have these bars at the front and so this is your battery indicator right here and the rest is just RGB which goes across the whole wheel. Really nice. And here you can see the super thick 3 inch tire. The pedals are quite small but what do you expect from such a small wheel? You have to get used to it and the wheel is quite wide so probably the V5 or a King Song might be a little thinner. What does it mean? The wheel is more agile, you can grip it better and the pedals are also tilted. It's really difficult to, as you see, the turning circle is really small. 
to scratch the pedals. I think it's different than on the MCM5 where it's quite easy to scratch this, the, the pedals. And because the wheel is so light, it's also really easy to jump. <laughs> you can also handle smaller curbs, but uh, it's not as comfortable as on the MSX or the Gotway Nikola. So now we're gonna test uh, if this little thing can go up this hill. You can see how steep it is on a screen. Easy! Okay, so this looks pretty steep. Quite difficult to go up. Uh, we're gonna check if the M10 can do it. This is overpowered. The, the pedals are tilting too much. So here it was around 25 degrees steep. So up to 25 degrees, you should be you should be fine with a driver weight of around 75 kilograms. Always easier to go down. Woo! Ah, come on, come on, little go away. Come on! Ugh. Yeah, but it was too much for him. Definitely tw 25 degrees is a limit. The pedals are also magnetic. You have cushioning here and cushioning there. Though, if I'm standing on it, I, I really can't hold it because I have my, my legs are just a bit too far apart but I can hold it with my uh, feet. So easy to maneuver. So the wheel, though it's really small and portable, packs a ton of fun. And the top speed is, as said, around 37 kilometers per hour. So if you need a wheel that is super portable and yet faster than the Emotion V5, V8, and other King songs, but yet lighter and more portable, this is the perfect suit for you. So anyways, if you're still here, please leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Whoop. And huge thanks to Krzysztof for helping me record this video. You can see his channel about electric unicycles and scooters below.